My name is Virginia Neisler and I am our Head of Reference and Research Services here at the University of Michigan Law Library. Hi, I'm Seth Kittichai Swan. I'm the Head of uh, Collection Development and Access Services. My name's Alexis Zerpoli. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. I am the Serials Librarian. Hi, I'm Shay Elbaum. I'm the Faculty Research Librarian here. Uh, my name is Ash Brown and I am the Acquisitions and Electronic Resources Librarian. Hi, I'm Jessica Pasquale. I'm the Head of Scholarly Publishing and Intellectual Access. My name is Keith Lacey. I'm a Reference Librarian. Uh, hi, my name's Kincaid Brown. I'm the Interim Director of the Law Library. I'm Kate Britt. I'm a reference librarian. Tea, always. Coffee. Coffee. Tea, definitely tea. Both, depending on time of day or how uncaffeinated I currently am. Coffee. Coffee, definitely coffee. Iced coffee all year around. Coffee. It is impossible to be neither because I think I might be neither. I just really like sleep. <laughs> Probably an early bird nowadays. Um, I used to be more of a night owl, but kids change that drastically. Work makes me be not a night owl, but I would be if I had my druthers. How about that? Night owl. I try to be an early bird, but it doesn't work. Neither. I like to sleep. <laughs> night owl for sure. Bit of a night owl, yeah, for, for hanging the later shifts. Night owl. Night owl. I read a book called Pandora's Lab, which was about stories of science gone wrong. The first book in the um, Philip Pullman's uh, pre-slash-post Dark Chronicles, and it's called uh, The Secret Commonwealth on La Belle Sauvage. American Hippo series by Sarah Gailey. The New York Times compiled some of their, like, at-home articles into a really excellent um, moving in, both sort of searching and decorating and maintaining book. Um, I received an advanced copy of a book called Spirits Abroad, which is from a Malaysian author who's currently living in the U UK, and it's just a phenomenal collection of short stories. Mm, digital minimalism was really good, and White Fragility, I just finished, was also very good. I recommend both. Climbers by M. John Harrison. It's sort of a fictional account of some uh, Thatcher era rock climbers in Yorkshire. Really good, really good. Uh, I'm Gone by Jean Eschenau. He's got a fabulous turn of phrase. I have some friends who publish a twice a year, could be biannual, could be semi-annual, I'm not, not gonna guess, a magazine called Ugly and it is just silly cartoons and absurd like stories and it's like if a group of four improvisers from Detroit made a mad magazine and I really like it. I actually like the Law Quad best. This is, a, this is not a self-serving answer. It's the reason, one of the reasons I felt okay about moving up here from North Carolina is I was doing a little tour of Ann Arbor and I walked into the Law Quad and I saw the beautiful trees and it was just very peaceful and so it made me feel very comfortable here. It's technically not on campus, but I'd say it's uh, Big Ten Burrito or BTB Burrito because I love a good burrito. I really love the little courtyard and the quad here. That's my favorite place to eat lunch, for sure. Can I say the law quad? <laughs> Maybe one of those. I also like some of the um, rooms up higher in, I don't know if they're in Shapiro or Hatcher, but some of the rooms uh, were just windows up on the top stories of there. You can get a really nice view of, um, of well, mostly of the law school. <laughs> it's a nice view. North Campus is really nice. It reminds me a little bit of home, actually, because there's a lot of trees and it's kind of wooded. Besides the Lockwood, <laughs> um, I really like North Campus up near the School of Music. All the foliage and animals, and it's very quiet and green. Up on uh, some of the top floors of Jeffries, there is a great view of some balconies, and there's a great view of the whole quad and all the uh, scaffolding and everything there. That's a really nice view. It's kind of it makes you really sort of feel like you're you know, looking out over Hogwarts or something. I'm going to say the log quad. It's be it's beautiful. My favorite spot on campus is probably the quad. I love the trees. I love 
the architecture. I love just seeing people milling about. I see my friends who have nothing to do with the law school there, and it's just a perfectly peaceful place to watch squirrels. <laughs> I liked administrative law best, which was a surprise to me. I had a Professor Hornstein who has something like a record number of teaching awards and he just made the class really fantastic. International legal research, it's actually what got me into librarianship um, and it was incredibly useful and the teacher was great. So I went to law school here at the University of Michigan and my favorite class was probably Water Wars, which was a sort of partially experiential course um, on the law of the Great Lakes and um, the conflicts surrounding that. It was extremely practical and interesting. Environmental law. The Human Rights Clinic. Law and literature, which probably isn't a surprise as a law librarian. I, I have done a lot of research in this job, working with our faculty, and what I love is starting a new question, a new project. Um, they're all different areas of law, they're all different types of research, so they involve just different skills, and I just love digging in and finding answers when they exist, <laughs> which they don't always. My colleagues, um, working with them, they're all incredibly smart people um, and, and good uh, colleagues and then just getting to learn new things every day um, throughout. I really like figuring out how to solve a problem or any sort of glitch that comes up like finding workarounds. I also like finding ways to make things more efficient. The favorite part of my job here is that I get to work with all sorts of different kinds of questions with um, just all sorts of different kinds of law. I like the variety. Uh, there's a lot of different things to do, and believe it or not, I actually really enjoy spreadsheets. <laughs> Favorite part of my job is definitely the people. It's um, everybody here is smart and hardworking and committed, committed to excellence. Um, with so many smart people doing interesting things, there's always you're always learning new things and have a chance to grow. Fixing things. <laughs> Uh, when things break, <laughs> fixing things, which is hopefully rare, but sometimes fun. Definitely getting to help out the students. You know, it wasn't that long ago that I was in law school. I remember what it was like. You know, those memories are still very fresh in my mind. Um, it's an amazing time, you know, to be, to be uh, in, in your life, but there's all kinds of challenges, and getting able to kind of give back there, uh, that's, that's great. That's really nice. When a student needs help and I can help them. <laughs> I love finding stuff. I love uh, helping things that are very obscure and obtuse and confusing become clear and understandable and logical uh, because legal research is logical but it's also daunting and so making that less daunting is very satisfying. So I didn't know that that job existed until I was in law school and I took an advanced legal research class just because I like research uh, and I, it was taught by some of the librarians at UNC where I went to school. Uh, and you know, I kind of got out in the world and I, I realized that I wanted to take a different path. Uh, what I missed were the variety of different legal, I li really like delving into those kind of research problems and that kind of academic pursuit of knowledge, which isn't always part of law practice, uh, depending on, on where you go and what you do. Uh, and I really missed working with students. I had been a writing tutor my 3L year, uh, which was one of the best decisions I made my entire bit of law school, where I worked 15 hours a week, one-on-one -on -one with students on their writing projects. Um, and so what I found was that law librarianship allowed me to combine what I loved about working with students and what I loved about working with information and research into one perfect for me uh, job that is, it's just been really tremendous. I've been really happy with that decision. Um, I became a librarian because uh, while I enjoyed certain aspects of law school, the aspects I really enjoyed were the research, um, helping, finding things, um, and those seemed to dovetail well into the field of librarianship, um, and so that's what I ended up pursuing. In a previous life, I wanted to be a social worker, 
and that didn't really work for me. But social work is about connecting people to resources, and librarianship is about connecting people to resources. So that was a better fit for me. So that's why I became a librarian. Uh, libraries have always been an important part of my life since growing up. And I worked and volunteered in libraries, undergraduate, high school, elementary. I don't know if it counts in elementary, but it does. Okay, it goes. And so it was like, oh, it occurred to me that this was work that I enjoyed doing in an environment I enjoyed working in. And so that might be a good career path for me to look into a little more seriously. I like helping people and I like connecting people with information. So it's really just, it's kind of like the fixing things. Like if you need help finding something out, I like being able to connect you with the, the resource that will help you answer that question and then possibly answer future questions you didn't even know you were gonna have. Before coming to law school, I was working as an assistant at the public library in Austin, Texas. And I knew I wanted to go to law school, but I really fell in love with libraries and library work. I loved that it was a space that people could come to for help or come to for no reason at all, just to kind of exist and be. And I decided that while I still wanted to get my JD, uh, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be a librarian. So uh, I went to law school, but I also signed up for uh, library classes at the same time and got a dual degree. And uh, I'm very happy with that decision. Because I enjoyed my library jobs more than my law jobs, and the best thing about being a law librarian is that I get to use my legal background, but also do things that I find more interesting and enjoyable, like research, figuring out technology, helping others. I became a librarian because I loved learning about the law and law school and I loved the way that the law works together and is organized and all of that and I felt that my particular skills were pushing me toward more of the you know that side of it not necessarily practicing it but I felt like I could really be passionate about you know helping people <laughs> find the law, helping them uh, do the research and, and use all of these like many, many resources. And there's like a million things you have to check to write a legal research paper or a brief or whatever. And I wanted to be on that side of the organization and, and just figuring out uh, what makes everything tick.